Today I'm going to teach you how to min-max your efficiency with the demolition hammer. I'm going to teach you what the demolition hammer is, how the mechanics work, and all of that fun stuff. So, a demolition hammer is used to destroy buildings and furniture in Albion Online. For those that are unaware, you can actually decorate the open world with just random objects. But also, this is also an item that you guilds will use in mass numbers to destroy hideouts, castles, and other things that guilds fight over. But for this video's demonstrator purpose, I just want to explain the difference between the tiers of Demolition Hammer, how to maximize your damage with the Demolition Hammer, and then how they technically work with decorations. So let's start with some tier 4 decorations here. We have a heretic food like little supply and the way decorations work is as a player in the open world you can click on a decoration you can see who put it down you can see what it is it's um it's just a random decoration every every player can see that i put this down on the ground however if they want to destroy this they have to pvp flag up so we're going to go ahead and unflag from our faction otherwise we can't attack this and it is my decoration so i can technically just pick it up off the ground but you can't just pick up other people's decorations you have to either destroy them or look at them so the way it works is you have to actually equip the demolition hammer unlike other gathering tools this is not really a gathering tool even though it is considered a tool you have to equip it in your hands and yes you can use this to fight enemies so we can hit this moa bird for 40 damage with the tier 2 hammer and if we de-aggro and use a tier 8 hammer, there's also Avalonian versions of these weapons. And the only difference between regular and Avalonian is the damage per second. Unfortunately, there was none available in the market. So with a tier 8, instead of 40 damage, we hit for 170. So we can actually bash this bird down pretty quick if we wanted to. There we go. We, uh, we murdered a poor Moa bird there. Uh, but now that I have unflagged from faction, I can attack this. There we go. And well, that that died in one hit because it, this is a tier eight demo demo hammer. But let me let me show you another tier four placeable object real quick. So let's go ahead and just put that down. And I'm gonna use a tier two demo hammer, and this is a tier four building. Now, if I remember correctly, uh, <laughs> it won't even let me attack it because you need the equivalent tier to attack it. So we can put on a tier three hammer, still can't attack it. Tier four hammer. Now it turns into a sword icon. Uh, used to, you could attack these without the proper tier, but you would deal zero damage. So you can see, I killed that in one hit with the tier 8 hammer, with, with the tier 4 hammer, we have 100%, and if I attack it, we're dealing 25% of its health. So the higher tier hammer, the more damage you will de deal. If I put on a tier 5 hammer, how much damage is that? Well, that's way more, you know. So generally, if you're in a safe zone and you want to smash buildings, use the highest tier demo hammer possible. But you do need that tier of hammer to attack that type of uh, object. So here we have a tier 5 Disciple of Morgana stand, which um, apparently I cannot uh, place out here. So, whoops. <laughs> oh, there we go. There was just some crap in the way. Um, hello, game. Let me place it. There we go. We're going to go ahead and hammer that into the ground. I guess that's what he's doing. And again, we have a tier 4 hammer. Won't let me attack it. Tier 5 hammer, I can now attack it. So, one attack from a tier 5 hammer did 11, 12% 12, 12 damage. Alright, and then if you go, you know, tier 6, that's going to deal way more. <laughs> uh, tier 7, that deals a little bit more. And then tier 8, yeah, we pretty much just smash the thing instantly. So here we have a tier 7 igloo, which, um, can I not place this down here? I might not be able to place this one down. Uh... <laughs> I don't remember ever seeing igloos in the open world, so maybe I'll have to buy a different tier 7 thing. But uh, essentially, you, you get the point. I don't need to show you every tier. We would need a tier 7 or a tier 8 demolition hammer to smash this tier 7 frost igloo. Uh, and th that's pretty much it for demo hammers. Now, um, I do want to mention uh, there is a way to, to get the most out of this, especially if you're attacking a building that has a lot of durability. There's a few things you can do. Your attack speed is based on your armor, so if you're wearing all leather and you have the passive attack speed bonus on every piece of armor, that will increase your swings and let you break buildings faster. Secondly, uh, if you have, um, what is it, uh, the armor hunter jacket with the ability haste, 
you can attack much faster. So I'm going to equip a tier 2 hammer, and we're going to attack the Moa Bird here. You can see I'm hitting it for 40, hitting it for 40, and, well, you get the point, right? We're hitting it for 40, and when I activate my armor ability, look how much faster I can swing. 48, 48, 48, 48. So this is way, th this is a much more efficient way to smash buildings is by having the proper armor equipped. There isn't really a way that you can kind of finagle a Morgana cape. You can sort of do it. It's a little awkward and I've never seen a guild do this, but what you would do is you would equip a weapon. You would cast the E spell to activate the Morgana cape. You would then mount back up, swap to your demo hammer while you still have the haste buff, and then you would attack the building. I've, again, I've never seen a guild min-max their, their, um their wages so hard but um, other than that you can also use cooldown reduction if you want to get your hunter jacket back faster by using an assassin hood other than that just anything that boosts attack speed or even your own damage will allow you to break buildings slightly faster um the the whole damage buffing thing i don't know if you can use like um what is it um the arcane staffs to buff your damage and then smash harder i don't have a friend to test that and I don't have a building with enough HP to test that. But hopefully this helped you understand Demo Hammers just a little bit more. And uh, you're going to see lots and lots of decorations if you go out into a black zone. And the reason players use these decorations is to try to block players' pathing so that they are forced to move in the way of uh, enemies and patrols. So let's just go real quick. This is the test server. No one's going to gank me. It's totally fine. But, um, you know, we go around, let's just go out this direction and we can see if there's any decorations nearby. The deeper you go in the black zone, the more decorations you're going to see. And uh, we do have the demo hammer equipped. So you can see that right now there's, there's like some cages here. Boom, smash the cage. You can just be a complete menace and just break things, you know, rioter style. Like, look at this. We got a disciples of Morgana here where we can just bash that down. And you don't, you don't get anything for doing this. It's just fun to do. Uh, here is a, what is this, a statue? Okay, yeah, this, see, now this is a beefy object. I have a, t this is a tier 8 demo hammer. I'm barely hurting this thing, okay? I am barely hurting it, but with haste, I can, you know, hurt it just a little bit faster. So you can see, this is a very expensive deployable, and it's, it would take multiple people to hurt this thing, but if you sneak out here at the right time, you know, you can see who placed it, you can talk some smack if you want, so let's see. This was placed by I love my waifu. <laughs> oh, who doesn't love their waifu? Uh, anyway, so that's that's it for demo hammers. I hope you learned something. I learned. I hope you learned how to smash buildings. You know, if someone spams 10 million fireballs in an area, you can go smash them up real good if you want. It's up to you. Uh, or you can leave. You know, I love my waifu statue alone because he really does love his waifu guys. <laughs> Uh, you can even look up their stats. I love my waifu. <laughs> look at the- he said hi! <laughs> Have you killed anybody? Oh, he's killed people. It's, he hasn't killed people in several months. This person doesn't exist anymore. This person doesn't even play the game anymore. <laughs> so, or maybe they're a safe zone player, but what are they doing putting statues in the black zone? I don't know. Anyway, I'm Soul Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. Hopefully that you learned something fun. Let me know in the comments if you have any additional tips about demo hammers because I don't do the hideout stuff. I don't go out here in the black zone. Like, this, it's under attack? This is, this is odd. Uh, really? Dry, where, where did I click? S sand drift step, huh? Let's go investigate. This is the test server. There shouldn't, there shouldn't be anyone attacking these things. I don't think I'm allowed to attack it. I am real curious. I need to see this. I'm not going to use invis either. I'm just... Like, why does it say it's under attack? That's weird. That is, is someone out here smashing buildings on the test server? That would be kind of fun for the video. I'm going to go take a look. I don't really have a way to run away. <laughs> and I don't have a weapon to defend myself. But um, maybe he'll see that, you know, I've got a demo hammer equipped. There we go. And uh, let's see what's happening. It's got, it says it's under attack. But yeah, you can totally attack these buildings. Uh... Yeah, I can smash it. Look at that. We can kill no BB, no Lie Lies hideout if we wanted to. Now, this would take absolutely forever solo. Oh, it's shielded. I guess I can't attack it anymore. I don't know. I don't know how this stuff works. So if you want to let someone in the comments know how all this stuff works, I don't join guilds. I don't do the guild stuff. I have no clue 
at all how any how attacking hideouts honestly works or the castle sieges but uh this is a tool that you would use for that and i'm sure your guild would teach you all about it or whatever anyway that's the video if you want to become a channel member click the join button down below uh it's five bucks a month it's like you know how on twitch when you subscribe uh <laughs> here on youtube it's the same thing but you get access to private more personal videos advanced guides stuff that is too good to show to the public like, remember that if you check the price of mules lately on the market, they've tanked, okay? I had that as a members-only video for as long as I could until someone leaked it, and then I made it public. So that's the kind of videos you can expect in the members-only section. Also, with that said, click the right side of your screen. It's an absolute banger. Uh, I just, uh, oh, out I'm an outlaw because I attacked the building. I can't enter town right now. Okay, whatever, it's a test server, who cares? Uh, but... <laughs> What you won't find in members only videos, you will not find exploits, you will not find bugs, you will not find duplication methods. SBI wants me to point that out and you won't find those there, just to let you know. With that said, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video. I'll see you there.